Hello, Anime Nyan here, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to do automatic lip syncing in Blender with Papagayo. So first things first, I'm just going to show you a quick preview of what we'll be making in this tutorial. They say, oh my god, I see the way you shine. Take your hand, my dear, and bless them both in mine. So as we can see, Kate is perfectly lip synced to the audio. So a quick disclaimer. This is automatic, however, uh, you still do need to manually determine the timings uh, for each of the words. Okay, and also this is using a Dead by Daylight model, so it is specific to Dead by Daylight. However, you can use any other model uh, as long as it has a working mouth and this process will be exactly the same. And if you want to import a Dead by Daylight model, you can use, um, uh, you can use the video, uh, a previous video that I have made on how to import survivor models from Dead by Daylight into Blender and I will put that video link in the description below. Another thing, uh, we do have a Discord server so please go down to the description video description below and as you can see there's a Discord link there and there will be a Discord link uh, in this video. Um, so if you have any problems feel free to ask there. Okay so um, now let's get on to the software prerequisites for this method. So the first thing you need to do is type Papagayo into Google. Uh, then you click on the first link. And from there, just scroll down and click on download for Windows or Mac OS, depending upon your system. So I, I would download uh, Windows. Um, however, I've already done this. So I'm just gonna go to uh, where I have downloaded it. So. Uh, you'll get a zip file, just right click, press extract files or extract here, and then you will have this folder here. Okay, uh, the second prerequisite that you'll need is this IO import lipstick uh, blender plugin. So to find that, just type in icham IO import lip sync uh, into Google, and then just press the first link, press download, press download zip. Okay, so I am going to uh, go to where I have downloaded it here. So, and remember, just always remember, press download, download zip, right? Don't uh, download it in any other way uh, because it did cause me problems. So you should get this master.zip here, right click extract files or extract here. And then you should get uh, this, uh, most importantly, this Python file here. So in order, in order to uh, install that Blender add-on, you just want to open a new Blender file, go to General, Edit, Preferences, and you want to press Install, and then navigate to where you have downloaded that uh, uh, file there. So you want to go to where you extracted it, and it should be here, and press uh, I-O uh, on this, th select it, and press Install Add-on. From there, just make sure that, you, that it's installed, so just import, search up import, and make sure that this uh, import export lip sync importer and blinker is enabled. From there, you should be completely fine and you can close that blend file that you opened. Okay, so as we can see, I'm gonna start off with this um, uh, completed model of, of Kate um, that I want to lip sync with. So, uh, I also imported a Visine reference chart. So this is just shows all the possible mouth positions that we'll need to create. Don't worry, we won't have to create so many, um, but uh, it is good for a reference. So in order to do that, I just searched up uh, on Google, Visine reference in images. I found my favorite Visine reference. I right clicked on it, save image as, and then I saved it. And then I dragged it straight into Blender. Um, you will notice sometimes that um, if, your, if, your, if your image looks something like this and it's kind of uh, wonky, what you want to do is you want to press Alt R to reset the rotations. And what you want to do from there is press R X to rotate in the X axis and then press 90 to specify the degree that you want to rotate by. And press uh, on the left mouse button to confirm. Okay, cool. So you have your Visium reference chart and now you have your uh, completed model. Again, you can use any model uh, you want for this process. Okay, so what we want to do from here is we want to create shape keys. So what is a shape key? So a shape key is just, 
if I just create a shape key here. So I created the basis shape key. So the basis shape key is just, uh, think of it as uh, something that you compare everything else to. So the basis shape key should be the one which uh, is your base, your reference, I guess. And everything else should change that basis shape key. As you can see, it says relative to basis. So we need this basis shape key and it should be your initial position of your model uh, with, with your uh, mesh. So now what is a shape key here? So we can see that it's just, it has a lever pretty much from zero to one and all the values in between. And now we can actually start, um, what it does is it uh, animates or not, or it controls uh, how much part of the mesh will be deformed. So I will show you how to create a shape key, key uh, in three methods really quickly. So, but I will uh, preference that we use the third method. However, I will show you these other two methods you can use to create shape keys, uh, which will be uh, the various visemes. So we wanna create all these different uh, mouth uh, shape keys, I guess. So the first method, I'm just gonna hide this um, skeleton for now because it's a little bit distracting and we won't need this for now. But the first method we want to do is, I'll just call this, um, let's call it a proportional editing. So this is a way you can, you, uh, you can uh, create shape keys. However, uh, for our model, it's not very good. It's better if you have less vertices and uh, this model has quite a number of vertices, so it's not very effective. So I'm gonna press tab. So I'm gonna select the head mesh first. As you can see, it's selected in the sidebar and I'm gonna press tab to enter edit mode. Okay, from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press three, the number three on my keyboard. So then I change to selecting faces. So I'm just gonna select a few faces, perhaps on the lips. So I'm just gonna click and drag and maybe select this many faces here. Okay, so from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna zoom out with the, um, with the mouse wheel. Um, again, just for reference, like how do we uh, navigate around the viewport port in Blender? We use the control key and the middle mouse button to zoom in and out. We use the just the middle mouse button, clicking down on it, on it to rotate. And we use the shift and the middle mouse button to pan. Yep, so that's all the controls, uh, just if you've forgotten. Okay, so from here, what we wanna do is uh, we press G and, wait, whoops. We wanna make sure that this item is checked first. So make sure that it's blue, this top. So this is proportional editing, make sure it's on. Now you can press G. And as you can see, we have this circle here. And if we scroll in with the mouse wheel, you can see this, this scroll, this, this affects, your area of effect affects less and less. So if we scroll out, we can make it affect a huge, uh, huge amount. Um, so as we can see, this is very helpful if you don't want to just move just the single vertices and you wanna move a group of vertices near the area that you have selected, which is helpful for our purpose. So I'm just gonna uh, press Control Z to go back and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit now and I'm gonna try that. So I'm gonna press G and I'm gonna say, how about this much? So this small circle, uh, I, I see, I think that this would be fine. And I'm just gonna move the lip down a little bit. As you can see, it's actually undesirably affecting our teeth here, which is not so great, which is why I don't preference this method. However, if I just press G and I circle, I, I scroll in, so I can lessen the area of effect, then I can move my lip down a little bit. So as you can see, it's kind of deforming the mesh unfavorably, but um, what can you do? That's kind, of the, that's kind of the limits of this method on this model because it has so many vertices. Okay, cool. So let's go back to object mode now and you'll see that your shape key, uh, your deformation has suddenly vanished. Where's it gone? So if you just increase it to one, you can see that we have the Mac, we have it coming back again. So one is a value of maximum deformation and zero is zero deformation pretty much. So that's how we control just, and, and we can animate these shape keys to create um, uh, speech and stuff and, um, and I guess animation. But uh, in our case, we don't wanna use this. Okay, so the second thing we want to do is we want to use the second method of creating shape keys, which is by using sculpting. So what we can do here is what we can, uh, we can go to sculpt mode. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press um, control Z 
Um, wait, whoops. Um, control, okay, okay, no, no. I'm gonna press uh, Z and tab, wait a second. Uh, shift, oh my God, shift, Z. Uh, I'll, just, I'll just go to sculpt mode. Um, go to sculpt mode like this. And then I will start sculpting. Yep, so I, I'm pressing down on it and I have a radius of 500 and a strength of one. Yep, so as you can see, nothing's happening and you'll be like, well, what's happening? So the reason why is you need to adjust the value of the shape key to one before you do anything, do any sculpting. So I'm gonna select the mesh again and I'm gonna to go to sculpt mode and then I'm going to start, um, uh, wait, whoops, I'm on vertex paint. I'm on the wrong mode. I wanna to go to sculpt mode and I'm just going to sculpt it. So as we can see here, we can actually uh, decrease the radius of this brush. How do we decrease it again? Um, oh my gosh, so that to where, uh, we can just, well, I'll just use radius bit here, but there is a hotkey for uh, decreasing the radius. And what we can do is we can, perhaps we can sculpt and we can have the lips uh, maybe sunken in. Um, this is not what <laughs> what's desirable. Um, but if you have a skeleton, um, I would advise you don't use sculpt mode. But as we can see, uh, we have done a small amount of deformation here. So, uh, but I will suggest you don't use both of these uh, methods of creating shape keys and you instead use uh, my method of creating shape keys, which is through the skeleton. So what we're gonna do is we're going to bring back this Visium reference chart. And before I get into what shape keys uh, how to create the shape keys with the skeleton. I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about how you should create uh, mouth shape keys for speech. So speech in English is uh, can be broken down basically into A, E, I, O, U. So if you just look at the mouth positions, A, and then you can look at the E, the A, the E, um, the I, and the O, and the U. They're, they're all kind of unique. Uh, also MBP, and F and V sounds. So they, they are the ones that are different. So a lot of the other ones, like, like as you can see, the R, uh, no, the, the, the um, other sounds are kind of a blend between these other uh, different positions. So we can kind of create the rest uh, with just these. Um, I will just show you what I mean by that. If I just go to my mouth shape keys here, and as you can see, I have an A, E, I, O, U mouth, and a BPM mouth, and an F and V mouth, um, and a tongue, tongue up. So you can create all the mouth positions with that. Okay, so that's the shape keys we need to create. Let's get to creating them. Okay, so before I do anything else, I wanna go to press tab to go into edit mode, and I just wanna get just, isolate just the bones that I want on a separate layer. So I'm gonna get joint, jaw, this cheek, this corner, uh, so I'm gonna, I know that I need just these bones. So I just want, I don't want the cheeks. I just want the lip lower. I want the, let's see, what else do I want? I want the tongue. I want the lip lower. Yep. And this tongue here, I want this here and this cheek. Okay, so I don't want the rest of them. That's all great. Okay, so let me just make sure that I've selected everything that I want. So joint lip upper, yeah. So I don't want the joint head, I just want everything else. And yeah, so this should be fine. And I've selected the tongue bones as well because we will need to use them in a second. So I'm gonna press M here to move this to a different bone layer. So I'm gonna move it to the second bone layer and you'll see that it's disappeared, but all you need to do is just click on the second bone layer just to see the bones in the second layer. So this is so it's just less messy. So we know that we're just going to use these bones. Okay. From here, what we're gonna do is start creating all the different shape keys. So I'm gonna start off by creating the A shape key. So I'm gonna bring in another window here and I'm just going to zoom this window. I'm gonna press zero. Uh, whoops, uh, numpad one actually. I'm gonna press numpad one here is what is happening. I'm gonna press numpad one, yep. And I wanna have this window a little bit smaller. Um, I just wanna zoom in on that numpad on A. So I just wanna see what the A shape should look like. And I'm just gonna look, yeah. So this A is good. 
And now I'm going to start creating that A shape here. I'm going to click on the head mesh and I'm going to go to um, pose mode. So I'm going to press control tab. Oh, what is a control tab? And then I'm going to go to pose mode is not here. <laughs> okay, let's go to. I'm oh, sorry, I should click on the skeleton and I should press control tab to go into pose mode. Okay, so what I want to do. I'm going to press numpad one to go back. And what I'm going to do is I just want to mirror this shape here. So I'm going to just move down. Wait, that's the tongue. So I don't want to move that. I just want to move perhaps these three positions here. I want to move them slightly down. So as we can see, we're just affecting, we're affecting the teeth as well slightly because this weight paint isn't the most desirable, isn't the, isn't the best. Um, actually, wait, sorry, before I do that, I need to rotate the jaw down. So I'm gonna press R, X to rotate it in the X axis, along the X axis. And yep, so you don't wanna to go too wide, otherwise um, it looks unrealistic, but something like this should be okay. And now we just want, uh, Yep, so now I'm just going to move the corners of the mouth um, so it looks kind of realistic. Um, yep, so this also depends upon like the weight paint of your model and obviously the weight paints of this model aren't the greatest. Uh, so that's the tongue. I'm going to move, I'm going to move, shift this one slightly down. Um, Move it until it looks natural. We have the tongue like that. That looks okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna move some of this stuff. So as we can see, you can you can use the um, you can pretty much try to make these sounds yourself and just see what mouth position. It should look like. Um, I think this should be fine for the purposes of this tutorial, but I would just fine tune this quite a lot um, depending upon what I was making. And as we can see, these lip corners are a little bit of a problem, uh, but I think that's just the Dead by Daylight models. Um, you can weight paint this to fix it up, uh, but. Oh my gosh, wait. We'll just grab this lower lip as well. Okay. Yeah, I'll say this is done. And okay, so from here, what I want to do is I just want to go back to object mode and I want to click on the mesh itself. So I'm clicking on GS head, uh, the mesh. And I'm going to go to object modifiers. I'm going to click on this, I'm going to click on apply as shape key. Yep, so as we can see, um, uh, the de deformation is gone, but when we click on the mesh and we go to the vertex tabs, uh, vertex keys tab, and we just go here, uh, let's rename this to something appropriate. So something like a, a mouth, should be fine. Okay, so, and then we can just see that it, this, now we, when we bring it to one, we're get, going to the value of A. So that looks fine, And but there's one thing that we need to do. We need to add this armature back again because otherwise it won't follow the movement of the skeleton or the armature. Um, so a skeleton and armature are the same thing. Yeah, so as we can see, when we add it back, uh, the skeleton is already in position, which is a problem. So it's always gonna be a value of, of one, even though our value of one isn't one here. Right, so, so what we need to do here is we need to click on the skeleton, go to pose mode again, and press A to select everything, press Alt G, Alt R, Alt S to reset uh, the position, the scale, the rotation, and the scale respectively to the original things. Yeah, okay. So now it's pretty much just a process of, uh, of just doing everything, uh, just, just uh, creating the rest of the shape keys. So I'm just going to find the E, the E mouth. 
here, and I'm gonna press. Okay, so I'm gonna go to pose mode again after selecting the skeleton, and I'm gonna start creating the other poses. So I'm gonna create the E mouth here. So what does the E look like? The E is kind of closed, so RX just to rotate it open slightly again. So that looks okay. And I'm just going to I'm gonna leave the 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 tongue on a separate shape key. Um, but I'm just gonna to try to follow the mouth as much as possible. Um, might be slightly difficult depending upon your model. And my model is slightly weird. Okay, so that looks okay. Remove the middle down a little bit. We're just creating this E. I'm following just that reference chart. Okay. Looks fine. Looks fine. Okay. Yeah, that, I'd say that's a possible E. And then, okay, so I'm gonna follow the same process now. So I'm just gonna click on the, the um, mesh itself. I'm gonna go to object modifiers. I'm gonna call this something, uh, uh, something logical like E mouth. And I'm gonna right click on this menu here, apply as shape key. Okay, so as we can see, we have an E mouth now, which is great. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to the object I'm gonna add an object modifier again, the armature, and I'm gonna attach it to the skeleton again. I'm gonna to go uh, to this, and I'm gonna to go to pose mode. I'm gonna select on the skeleton, and go to pose mode, press A, Alt, Alt G, Alt R, Alt S. So yeah, so we're just following the same process again. Okay, so let's go to pose mode again. Let's create the next one. So I, and I, so I, I. So all these uh, mouth positions, as you can see, the tongue is at the bottom of the mouth. So we'll just try this out. So joint lip lower. I'm gonna rotate it open a little bit. Something like this. And I should mention that this is probably for lower quality um, voice anim voice syncing, but it's much more doable compared to um, manually doing it. Like manually doing it, you can add in a lot more uh, nuance, but this method just is so much faster. And anyway, you can also use this method plus a little bit of manual uh, lip syncing to make, to add emotion and other things like smiling and other things you can animate that in as well. So. Yeah. Okay, let's just So this is like if you if you need to animate a huge huge uh uh um budget and you're on a budget uh, like a lot of speech uh, then just use this method. Okay. E. Yeah, I think that's okay. Um I'm going to I'm going to say this is okay. I'm gonna go back to object mode and then I'm gonna click on the mesh. I'm gonna call it something logical again, eye mouth, uh, right. I'm gonna click on there, apply the shape key. Okay, so I have the eye mouth and let me just test it out. It does look very similar to my E mouth actually, but I am kind of fine with that, I think. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm fine with that. Um, they do look very similar, but that's kind of just how it is. Um, yeah, just like the, te the the ridge of the teeth, you can see the ridge of the teeth is a difference. And I think, yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so let's go for the next one. Continue and blaze through the rest of these. Like we need to add the object armature again. And as we can see, it once we attach, attach it to the correct object, uh, we need to actually reset the uh, skeleton back to its normal positions. 
So this is how to create um, shape keys with with um, with uh, just with the skeleton itself, which is very helpful if you have a working skeleton already, like in this case. Okay, so I'm going to go to back to pose mode again, and now we're going to create our next pose. Okay, so O, we're looking for an O mouth here. So O, oh, so if you make oh sound, you'll you'll usually form a circle. So let's look for it. So oh, kind of looks like yeah. I'm going to use this mouth here on this reference chart. So I'm using shift tab to um, shift, not shift tab, shift um, a middle mouse button to pan to look at the different shapes here. So oh, so I'm just going to. I'm going to select all these um, bones here. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll shift I'll RX to rotate it on the X axis and I'll open it up a little bit first. I don't want to get too exaggerated. Otherwise, um, if your mouth is way too open, it looks very weird. So something like that would be okay. I think that would be okay. Um, let's now just follow this. So as you can see, we have this slight curve. I'm going to try and mirror, mirror that. Um, so we have like an arch, so it arches upwards, slightly the lips. Um, not sure I'll be able to do it though, because this weight paint is killing me. Um, yep, okay, so I'll, I'll try to move the lip corners in as well. So the lip corners, um, oops, I'll just select one lip corner at a time. I'll move it in. So as you can see, it's this is not weight painted very well. As you can see, the lip corners are kind of deforming and they aren't really behaving. But um, if you're going to fix the weight paint, you should fix it at the start because if you're aware of this, these issues before. But um, for our purposes, I'm going to say it's OK. And yeah, this looks, let's uh, try to bring all these in a little bit. Um, I'm going to bring them in too much, otherwise it's going to look kind of ridiculous. Um, and it doesn't really help, as you can see. So I should probably weight paint this bone here, this vertex group, to, to uh, the vertex group with the same name as this bone to affect the lip corner as well. So it looks a little more natural, but yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna just rotate a little bit. So I'm just gonna rotate my view just so I can change this a little bit. Wow, that looks very weird. So I'm gonna move this lip corner out a little bit. GZ, uh, whoops, GY, I guess, to bring it outwards a little bit. It's a bone, so it doesn't um, affect it too much. Maybe something like this, G, Y. So as we can see, it's a lot of finessing, really, for this. Ah, oh, that looks weird as. Um, let me just bring that down a little bit. I'm trying to form that, that O shape, okay. This is probably one of the hardest shapes to make. GZ. Okay, GX. Yeah, I'm gonna call this roughly done. But you can fine tune it a little bit more yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna call this satisfied as an O shape. And we're gonna go back to object mode. And again, following that same method to create shape keys, we're gonna rename this to O mouth and then click on this. Uh, here and click on apply as shape key. Yep, all good. We'll we'll have that shape key there. So now we're just going to I'm just going to um, apply the armature modifier again, I'll attach it to there, and I'm going to go to pose mode, and I'm just going to press A to select all bones, or G, Alt R, Alt S to reset all transformations, uh, uh, movement, rotation, and scale transformations. Yep, to the original positions. Okay, so we have the O mouth. Now I'm just gonna get the, the final mouth, final th two mouths, 
and I will do those. So U, we're looking for a U shape here. Let's look for a U, ah, ah. So it's, let me press numpad one to reset the view and ah sounds like this, this one. So let's do this. Okay, so I should probably rotate the, for RX to rotate the mouth open first. And yep. So yep, I'll just press G to move this these bones down once I've selected them a little bit. I want to actually have them slightly covering the teeth following that this here. It's kind of not going to be possible though. Um, can I rotate this mouth a little bit more open just to see that? Let me just move these these bones up a little bit, these corners, just so we have that positive kind of uh, curve downwards. I'm not doing anything amazing. I'm just following following these instructions, basically, or following these images to create these shapes. I'm gonna bring this. Whoops. I'm gonna bring this. Um, I'm gonna bring this center lip upper. Can I actually bring the? Yeah, so lip upper. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. I just want to see a little bit of that. And ah, ah, ah. Yep, okay, I want to bring this arch down a little bit though, because it just looks right to me. And I want to bring this RX just up a little bit, because I don't think it should be up as much as an R. So because it should be a little bit smaller, I feel, in my opinion. Okay. Um, Rx again. A lot of fine tuning. Oop. Okay. Yeah, that looks okay. Um, cool. I'm going to uh, click on the mesh again, so not the skeleton, and I'm going to go to Armatures, I'm going to name it U, U mouth. And I'm going to just click on this drop down, apply as shape key. Cool. Now I'm just going to get that armature out again and I'm going to place it on the GSD skeleton. And yeah, so I'll just finish this up and then A, Alt R, or G, Alt R, S. And then let's just create the BPM mouth. So BPM, the B, so as you can see, B, BPM, uh, they all start off with a closed lip position. So I'm just gonna to try to create that. I'm just gonna create this. So I'm gonna go try to place this lip down a little bit. And B. So if you try to make that sound yourself, you'll see that, um, um, the lips are closed from the start. Okay. Yep, and I'm going to bring this corner down a little bit more. This upper lip. You can just cooperate a little bit. And just close it. That looks okay to me. I'm just going to call this as our lip position. I'm just going to, yeah. Goo -goo -goo -goo. I'm just pressing G to move these bones again. Okay, yeah, that looks okay. Um, object mode, I'm gonna press on the mesh again, and I'm gonna call this something appropriate. I'm gonna call it BPM mouth. So we're just creating the crucial um, sounds in English or visemes so that we can create every other, um, uh, every other pose. So every other pose will be a mix in between these. So I'm gonna right click, apply a shape key, and we're gonna go to here, I'm gonna go pose mode again. A, Alt, Alt G, Alt R, or, whoops, I'm pressing Windows. Um, let's press A again. Alt G, Alt R, Alt S. Um, so this is all good. Um, 
that I actually apply. Whoops, I forgot to apply that modifier, but it's all good. Um, I just reset the position of the bones before I put the armature on. It's all good. So now the final thing we should do is I'm just going to um, add one more, which is just the position of the tongue because the tongue is very useful. Uh, like, uh, so I'm gonna go and create one more shape key by just putting this into pose mode again. So clicking on the skeleton, go to pose mode, and let's just Rx. Yep, R. So I just wanna change my view a little bit. So I'm just gonna rotate around and use the control and middle mouse button just to uh, scroll in, to zoom in and Yep, and now I'm just going to grab the joint tongue one, and I'm going to go Rx. So a lot of the times you want the tongue to be touching the the, the roof of the mouth for like D, like da, da, t, t. It needs to both those sounds need to have the tongue touching the top of the mouth. So I'm just going to have it like that. And as long as we, that looks fine. Okay, so now I'm just going to uh, reset the position of all other bones. So I'm going to select all bones and then I'm just going to uh, shift, shift select just this, this bone that I changed. And I'm going to press Alt G or R or S. So I've, I have changed just that bone. I, I only want to change the tongue for this one. I'm going to object mode again and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, where is it? Do, 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 do. I'm going to go to I want to select my mesh, go to the vertex tab, wait sorry, to the object modifiers and I'm going to go uh, tongue up. I want to create a, a uh, shape key for this. Apply as shape key, all good and then I'm I have that shape key, but remember you do need to do one, you do need to apply the armature again. And then what we need to do is go back to pose mode after selecting the skeleton. Uh, press A to select all the bones. Press Alt G, press Alt R. Oh my gosh, I keep pressing Windows. Press A again, press Alt G, Alt R, Alt S. And yes, you are all good. Okay, so as we can see now, we have all these shape keys. Let's check on recording. Yep, and I'm just gonna go select the mesh itself. And now I have all these shape keys. I'm just gonna double check with my finished product. So I have the base A E I O U mouth, and I have the BPM mouth and the tongue up mouth. Okay, yep, and yeah, that's good. Okay, so what I ended up doing was um, I just uh, I just lost all my progress because I forgot to save my work. But I decided to go back and uh, correct uh, and take the time to really flesh out the poses. So if I just check, if I just show you what I did, I just made all the different poses and yeah, so, and I also uh, did the weight painting and I'll just show you how to do the weight painting in a second. Um, but yeah, so I did all the different poses Again, okay. So uh, how to do how you do the weight painting is essentially if you have like it's better if you have a pose. So if you if you have the mouth open or something, so then you can actually see inside the mouth. Um, and then what you need to do here is you just click on the mesh uh, of the of the head, and then just go to weight paint mode. And let's just say um, so you need to remember that. Well, you need to remember what what the bones were called. So if I just go back into and I select the the skeleton and I go to edit mode. So I remember that this is called joint lip lower. This coin called joint lip lower uh, O1. This is called joint lip corner RT01, and that's called joint lip corner LT01. Okay, cool. So once we know that, um, what we have to do is click on the mesh again. Click, go to weight paint mode. Okay, so. Now what we want to do is we want to search up lip because we know that we're looking for the vertex groups. Um, so the vertex groups are like what areas do the bone uh, 
effect, I guess. So I'm going to search up the RT, I guess. And let's say that, um, let's say that I wasn't really satisfied with this weight paint here. What I'd do is I'd change the weight to maybe something like 0 0.66, and then I'd paint over here like that. I'd paint over here like that. And then I can change my radius by pressing the F key and expand and just go, uh, uh, moving my cursor up and down. So for example, if I just wanted to white paint this area a little bit more and just think that this, this corner, so it needs a little bit more paint there, then I'd do this. And if I want the lower RT, I actually corrected this. So I added some extra white paint like this. And yeah, I also corrected the inside. So if I didn't want it to affect the inside teeth at all, what I'd do is I'd zoom in a little bit with the control middle mouse button and I'd paint a weight paint of zero on that teeth. And that's what I did there because it was um, moving that bone was moving the teeth as well. And I didn't want that. Okay, so I'm just gonna reverse everything I did just there because I don't actually want it. Control Z and yeah, so that's all good. Um, but I actually realized that I forgot about the F and V mouth. So we're just gonna do that together. Um, so I'm just gonna go numpad one and I'm gonna go zoom in and I'm gonna grab. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to, let's see, let's, uh, um, let me just put every, this value for zero, uh, o, the O mouth to zero and let's do this together. Okay, so let's control tab to go to pose mode. And what I wanna do is create V, right? So what I wanna do here is I want this joint jaw. So I'm gonna go G Y to, to move it backwards a little bit, I guess. So because I want the lips slightly behind the teeth, All right? So I'm just gonna go something like, yeah, so something like that looks okay. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to uh, scroll back a little bit because I want a different angle on this. Um, maybe even, yeah, maybe even just G, Y a little bit more until I'm behind it a little bit more than that. Yep. I want it to look too awkward, so maybe something like this-ish. It looks okay. A G, Y. I'm just adjusting it till it looks, looks right. Okay, this looks right, fine. Okay. All, else, all, the, all the other things, that the, all else I'm gonna do, other thing I'm gonna do is just adjust these lip corners just so then it's a little bit wider. I'm gonna go numpad one, numpad one, and I'm just going to adjust the lip corners a little bit. I'm just gonna go G, and I'm gonna bring it out a little bit to match that V, that V shape there. Okay, so that's looking all right. I think that looks okay-ish. And yeah, I can, I can just uh, RX, just adjust it a little bit. Maybe, no, actually that's okay. I think I'll leave it, leave it like that. It looks, it looks okay. Okay, so I'm just going to um, go to select the head and I'm going to go to the object modifiers. I'm going to create FV mouth and then I'm going to apply it as shape key once I hit the drop down. Cool. And then I'm going to add a armature, select the GSD skeleton and then I'm going to go control tab. Once I press the, select the skeleton, control tab, press A to select all the bones, Alt G, Alt R, Alt S to uh, uh, revert. Alt G means revert to the original uh, uh, position. Alt R means revert to the original rotation. Alt S means revert to the original scale. All good. So then that is all it. What I'm going to do now is essentially I'm going to just um, make uh, a driver on each one of these shape keys. So what is a driver? A driver is just um, a driver. So I'm just going to close this. And then a driver, if I just go back and I select this. So a driver is just when you have one thing, like the position of perhaps an object driving another value, such as the position of another object. And I'll show you what I mean just here. Okay, so I'm gonna create an armature, um, so with a single bone, and now I'm just gonna move this 
perhaps to the right over here. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm gonna press S. I'm gonna scale it down a little bit. I'm gonna press numpad one again, and I'm gonna shift uh, control uh, middle mouse button just to, to zoom in. And I'm going to just bring this over here-ish. I'm gonna S, press S to scale it down. I want to scale it down exactly um, so that it's pretty much exactly on the line. That looks right. That looks right to me. So now I'm just going to press tab to enter edit mode. Make sure you're in edit mode here. Okay, so I'm going to press shift D. I'm going to hold the shift key just to make sure that my um, movement is exact. So hold the shift key. So I did shift D and then hold the, held the shift D while I was moving. Shift key while I was moving it. So Shift D, hold the Shift key, and let's just bring it right up. Okay. Numpad one again, just to reset that, and then I'm just gonna go Shift D, Shift. Okay. Shift D, and then I'm gonna hold the Shift key again, like this. Okay. Cool. And then I'm just going to go Shift D again, and then Shift D one more time. I think I should have enough. I should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so eight is enough because that's one bone per shape key. Now I'm just going to rename all of them. So I'm just gonna press on this one and I'm gonna go to the bone uh, tab, tab and I'm gonna call this A. Next one, select that, it's gonna be E. Okay, this one, I wanna select this, I'm gonna rename this as I. I wanna rename this as O. I'm gonna rename this as U. I'm gonna rename this as BPM. Um, I'm gonna rename this as FV. And then I'm gonna rename this one as uh, Tongue Up. Okay, so once I've done all that, what I wanna do is I wanna to go to the Skeleton tab and I wanna to go to Viewport Display and I wanna make sure uh, names is selected. Okay, I, the rest of it are okay. Okay, cool. Um, let me just check with my finished file as well. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that's what I did. Now now I will start to create all the drivers. So you'll see what, what, I, what I mean by using these bones to drive the values of the shape keys. Okay, so I'm just going to right click on this, add driver. And then that's all good. So, so the if you select this, uh, and you you have to hover over the value, and then with your cursor, then press Control D to create a driver. Okay, so hover over the value, press Control D. If you if you don't hover over the value, you cannot tr create a driver. So hover your uh, mouse over the zero value. Okay, Control D, hover over Control D. Okay, hover over, Control D. Uh, I'll just shift this F and V up, but Control D, I've just hovered over it, hovered over the zero, Control D. Okay, to, I've created all the drivers now. That's uh, great. So now all I'm gonna do is I need to uh, edit driver, so right click on it and edit driver. And I'm gonna select an object here. I'm gonna select the let me just rename this armature here. So I'm gonna double click on it. I'm gonna call it driver armature. Okay, um, then I'm gonna go back and select the face again. Right click, edit driver. And now I'm gonna select the uh, driver armature. I wanna select the bone uh, A. Yep, and then I'm going to have X location, but I want it to have local space. Now that is all done. Now I'm gonna do the next one. Right click, edit driver. I'm gonna change it to uh, driver armature. Then I'm gonna change this to um, E and I'm gonna change it to local space. And that's good. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna do is I. So edit, right click, edit driver. I'm going to use the driver armature again and I wanna select the bone, which I labeled as I. Okay, X location, that's all good. And then, but I want it to local space. Yep, so next one, we're just shifting along. So to the O mouth now. So I want to select the driver armature again. I want to select O, I want to select local space. Okay, to the, e, to the U. So we're just going to 
So like the dr driver armature, U, and then local space. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna right click BPM, and I'm gonna select the driver armature, BPM, bone, and then select the local space. Okay, for this final one, I'm gonna right click edit driver, I'm gonna select driver armature again, I'm gonna select uh, FV, and then select local space. So I'm just, oh yeah, sorry, I need to do the tongue up. So right click on the, the purple part, edit driver, and then I'm gonna to go to driver armature, and then local space. And then I need to change it to tongue up. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna double check that they're all working here. Uh, I'm gonna right click edit driver. So that's A, that's good. Right click edit driver, E. Right click edit driver, I. So I'm gonna right, right click edit driver, O. Right click edit driver, U. Right click edit driver, BPM. Right click edit driver, it is F and V, and right click edit driver, it's tongue up. Yep, so this is all good. So essentially now, when we uh, go, click on this uh, driver armature, we go to pose mode here. Uh, what you'll see is if I just hide this, um, hide this GSD skeleton, you can see when I, when I edit this, what it's doing is it's, if I move this just here, so you'll see that this A, this A bone is actually driving the value. So the X position of it, so left and right, is driving the position of, or the value of the shape key. So if I just go back to object mode here and I checked the value of this shape key, let's have a look, it's 0 0.567, because that's based on the value of that, of that, uh, the X position of that uh, A bone. So as you can see, that's what I mean by a driver. So a driver is when you create a formula, when you can have the position of an object drive the value of something else, in this case, a shape key. Yep. Okay, so I'm just gonna shift that back. Okay, so I'm gonna shift that right back. So I'm gonna press Control Z until I get back here, that's good. Okay, so from here, what we want to do is we want to form the, a pose library. And what we need to do is we need to form a pose library. Uh, if I just click on this here, called lib phonemes. Okay, it needs to be called exactly lib phonemes. I'm gonna copy that. So I'm gonna, I'm going to go to object mode and I'm going to click on this driver armature, make sure it's selected. Then I'm going to go to pose library. I'm gonna create a new one. Oh wait, sorry, I need to go to pose mode first. Inside here, select all the bones by pressing A. So press A to select all the bones, make sure they're all in blue. Press new, and then you need to call it lib phonemes. Okay, so this is where we just need to create these uh, different poses, I guess. So what's a pose library? A pose library is a collection of poses. So it's, it saves the position of, a, of bones. So, um, so, for example, you could have one pose, which is uh, smiling. So, so the, the, the character will be smiling, and it's just one static position in time. So that's one pose. Another pose could be uh, hand up or uh, leg up. So, so that's what a pose is. It's one position in time and it's, it saves the, the position of bones one moment in time. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to create the exact names. We need to create bones, I mean poses, with these exact names. So AI. So let's create the first one. I'm gonna create the first one, add new. I'm gonna call it, actually before, you, you can't create a pose until you've actually um, brought this forward. I'm gonna make one window uh, for just zoomed in on the face so I can see uh, if it looks okay. So now we're going to use these bones to essentially say, um, to create these different poses. So G, and then I'm gonna go X, so I move it along the X axis. And I think A, I wanna leave it exactly at the value of one. Okay, so I know this is exactly at a value of one because it's at the corner of the box. 
Okay, so you don't want to go, go past one or go here because this has no effect, right? Because minus value has no effect on a shape key because the minimum is zero, at least from what I set. So I'm just going to move it to a maximum value of one, or uh, maybe a little bit less. So you can just fine tune this. I think a 0.9-ish works for here. So I'm just going to go add a new one and I'm call, gonna call this AI. Okay, so from, wait, actually, before I make that pose, what you need to do is you need to press A, and then you need to press plus, okay? This is very important. Before you make any pose, uh, select all your bones. So press A to select all bones, then make the pose. And then call it AI. Okay, this is fine for an A. Um, okay, so next one is, uh, let me just check my file, E. Okay, so it's a capital E, okay? So I'm gonna add a new one. And I'm going to press, wait, actually, before I, I always forget that I need to actually, so you can press minus to delete a pose, but, okay, so, so you can just press Alt G, Alt R, Alt S to reset the uh, position of all the bones. Now, next one. So the next one is E, right? So I'm just going to move this to a value of one. E, okay, looks fine. I'm fine with that. Okay, so I'm gonna press A to select all the bones, and then make the pose, add new. Okay, good. So now I'm gonna name this as E. Okay, so I'm gonna press A, Alt G, Alt R, Alt S to reset all transforms on them. Okay, next one. Okay, so the next one is an etc. So this is for the position of all vowels. And I'm just gonna check what it looks like on my character here. So it looks kind of like that. So it's just the base pose. So I'm just going to have that. Why not? Okay, so um, so for this one, I'm just going to have it like this. So etc is the is all the vowels in between. So. I guess I'm just gonna, hmm, how, how should I combine this? I think, I think this is okay. Yeah, this is okay. So I'm just gonna use a combination of U and BPM. Um, I'm gonna go GX so then I just refine that because I don't want it to move in the, in the um, other axes. OG and I'm just gonna GX and just make sure it looks fine. This looks fine, okay. So I'm going to use this as my etc pose. So A, so to select all bones, then make etc pose. So etc is anything except for A E I O U. So this is like D, uh, D, um, and some other uh, consonants. So that's fine. So okay. So let's try the next one then. So we have F and V. Okay. So I'm going to press A to select all bones. Alt G, Alt R, Alt S. Okay. Next one let's make the F and V. So luckily we have an F and V shape uh, uh, bone right here. So we can make the F and V. Wait, what? F and, oh yeah, okay, hey, hey, hey. That, that did work. Okay, I was confused. I thought that it wasn't working, but it is working. Okay, so as we can see, this is fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to press A to select all the bones and make a new, where did I go? Okay, I want to just make sure that all the bones are selected. I want to make a new pose. I want to call it F and V, okay? So you need to name these exactly like I named them. If you don't name them exactly in the same case, it will not work. Okay, so I'm going to press A. I'm going to press Alt G, Alt R, Alt S. I can just go Alt G because just to, just to reset the position. I'm not, I'm not rotating them, so I will just do that later. Okay, so we're looking for an L here an L. Okay, so do we have an L? What does an L look like? So if we just look like, uh, what does an L look like? L. So it's like an A. It's like an A, but it, you have the tongue up. Okay. Okay, okay. So it's like an A, but you have the tongue up. So we have L. So I'll zoom in on her face again, and I'll just have the tongue up and I'll open the mouth with, I'll open the mouth with, um, I guess, 
A. Do I have another that's a little bit better for, I want to see the teeth. Okay, I'm just checking the positioning. So that's O, U, uh, la. yeah, so this one's fine actually. I'm going to use the U and I'm just going to move the tongue up. So L, okay, and L, yeah, look at L can kind of look like this. That's fine for me. I like this as an L. Uh, maybe I'm just going to shift it a little bit back so just the mouth isn't as open. But we have the tongue up. Uh, maybe I can have the tongue just a little bit down. No, that's fine. That's fine there. So I'm just going to make this as the pose L. So I'm going to select all the bone. Wait, before I do that, I just want this adjusted on or just on the x-axis. And then I'm just going to select all the bones, press and add a new pose. I'm going to call this L. L. Okay, so the next one is MBP. So I'm gonna press A, Alt G. Okay, so MBP. Okay, so I have this one here. So I'm just gonna go GX and adjust it to a value of one. Okay, so as you can see, because we made this shape key, keys, uh, we can make all these new poses very, very easily. It makes our life infinitely easier so we don't have to make all these poses from scratch. Um, we can just make them from combinations. Okay, so I'm gonna press A to select all the bones and call this MBP. It can't be BPM, it needs to be MBP, especially, like so, I'm just gonna double check this afterwards, but make sure they, they, they have the exact same names. Okay, next one is O. Okay, so I'm gonna press A, Alt, G. Okay, so O, so I'm just gonna, I'm probably gonna use 0 0.9 of this. I just I don't I don't want the full one because of the full one like you can see that the lips begin to slightly deform so I'm just going to go a little bit back so somewhere there around there looks okay to me so I'm just going to press a and I'm going to add a new pose I'm going to call it O. double click on it to uh, rename it call it O. okay so we have rest what's the rest position look here okay so my rest position is the same as my my O, uh, my um, etc. I'm oh, sorry, my MVP. So I'm just going to, I can actually just copy these. So you can just go, uh, try to do this again. Yeah, so I just press, I press this. I press apply pose library pose. Okay, and then from here, I can just add a new pose like this, as simple as that. And I add one and I call this rest in lowercase, all in lowercase rest, okay. The final one, the final two, is U and Q. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, press Alt A and Alt G. Okay, so I just need a U now. So U, U, um, wait, let me just check something, sorry. I just want to check that my rest pose is correct. Wait a second. Uh, I don't think I did that rest pose correctly, sorry. One second, I will just redo that. I'll press Control Z until I. Okay, so I had MBP here. Now I'm going to create the rest pose again. Double click on it, rest. Okay, so we should be able to go like this. Then, oh gosh, uh, MBP, L, then rest. Okay, so now it's working. There's something weird there. Okay, cool. So I'm going to create, I'm going to press, oh, a, Alt, G. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to create um, these other poses. So I'm going to create U, G, X. And I'm going to make it a value of 1. And I'm just going to uh, add, press A to select all the bones. Remember, you need to select all the bones first. So press A every time and then press the plus icon. Then we have U. And the final one we have is just W, Q. Okay, so W, Q, what does that look like? Can I just double check? Well, actually, uh, my U is a little bit wide. I don't really like that. My mouth is just too wide. I don't, I don't like that. So I'm just going to press Control Z and I'm just going to, to make that U pose, I'm just going to dial it back just a tiny bit. So maybe something like this looks a little bit more realistic to me. And then I'm going to call this my U pose. 
Um, okay, so now the WQ pose for the mouth. So what is WQ? If I just look at, um, why is this slightly rotated? It looks like it's slightly, no, it isn't. Okay, I wanna look for a W, so W. Okay, W, so it's when I have a slight uh, mouth position. I have a slight um, thing like that, okay? I can do that. So let's just try to form this from these ones. So I'm just gonna have, I think it's kind of like a, wait, shift. So I'm just going to A, Alt, G. Okay, so I'm just going to make an O slightly. So just to make that position there. And then what I'm gonna do is Okay, I'm just sounding it out just to close the mouth a little bit. Um, okay, I'm gonna make the O, close the mouth a little bit more. So, so W. Okay, so I'm just trying to, I'm gonna look at my Visim reference actually. Um, I'm gonna check my Visim reference W, so W. It's really closed, but it's just, okay. So, so, I'm just gonna have it, this one is the maximum. I'm gonna ramp this one back a little bit. Okay, so. So I want that like that, but I just want it to close a little bit more. So, Okay, I think that 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 should be wuh, wuh. I think that's that's okay for a W. <laughs> kind of seems it. you could make some more um shape keys, but I think for me, this should be enough. I think this should, um, or, or, or. okay, okay, yeah, I'm gonna call that done as a W. I'm gonna press A, wait, sorry, I need to go back into pose mode. Press A and then make the final one, which I'll call W. Okay, so now I'm just gonna double check. So make sure this is LIB underscore phonemes. And then I'll just double check that all of mine are exactly named correctly. So it should be A I E capital E E T C uh, F and V L uh, M B P O rest U and W W Q it should be. So make sure that your names are exactly the correct. Otherwise, during <clears throat> during your Papagayo process, it will not work properly. Okay, so you've done all that. So if you've done all that, uh, great job. Okay, so now all we need to do is just do the manual time, uh, time sync uh, for Papagayo and we will be completely done. Okay, uh, let me just check if I'm recording, all good. Okay, so Okay, so I have, uh, uh, so, so what you need to do now is just go to the folder where you downloaded Papagayo and open papagayo.exe. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, that's great. So what you need to do now is, is you need to drop the WAV audio file into here. So 
if you have, uh, in my case, I have uh, this audio file, which I've already trimmed. If you don't know how to trim, I'll just show you how to do it right now. So, so what you need to do is you need, need to download um, something uh, called, uh, what is it called? Audacity. So I'm just gonna go, so if you don't know how to trim audio, just search up Audacity. Okay, and then just go to the download and then download and install it for your system. Okay, yeah, so I've already downloaded it. And what you need to do from here is you just pick your audio. I've already trimmed mine, but let's say that I needed to trim mine. So I'm just going to... Um, I'm just gonna press the, whoops. Uh, <laughs> one second, I'll, I'll just drag it in again. And I'll highlight the section that I want. From here, I'm gonna go file export um, export selected audio and then from here you can save it as a WAV file like if you didn't have it as a, as a WAV file you need to save it as a WAV file so then you can you can save it here you can say trimmed twice for my one um, and then you can press OK and then you're all good that's how you trim audio in audio in audacity Okay, but I'm just going to use the one that I've pre-trimmed. Okay, so I'm just going to drop this into Papagayo. Okay, so now is the time where you actually need to listen to the audio and um, make sure it's synced properly. Okay, so first thing you, you need to do is you need to type in the exact words that are spoken. They say, oh my God, I see the way you shine. Okay, so I'm just going to type in what they said here. So they see the way you shine. Okay, then. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna press play. They say, oh my God, I see the way you shine. Take your hand, my dear, and bless them both in my. Okay, so take your hand, my dear, and place them both in my. I'll actually man maximize the screen. Um, and I'll zoom in a little bit, yeah. Okay, so as you can see, I, I knew that these two sections were separate, like just in the time frame, you can see that they are separate, so I just play it again. They say, oh my God, I see the way you shine. Take yeah, so as you can see, at the word shine, it's a separate, after that, it's a little bit separate. Okay, cool. So what I'll do now is I need to adjust from the top down. So I need to adjust the green, the timing for the green. So I'm just gonna play, so you can double click this. To, so you can double click something to play it. So I'm gonna double click the green. Okay, so I can probably afford to put this up a little bit. And just make sure that the timing is perfect because if you start adjusting this stuff, and like the, the orange thing, when you adjust the green again, it automatically adjusts the orange. So you need to adjust from the top down. <laughs> and there's no control Z here. I don't know why, but yeah, there's just no control Z. Okay, so. They say, oh my God, I see the way you shine. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm just gonna adjust it a little bit backwards. They say, oh my God. They say, oh my God, I see the way you shine. They say, oh my God, I see the way you shine. I think that's okay there. They say, oh, they say. They say, oh my God, I see the way you shine. Take your hand. Okay, so I'll adjust the second part now. Okay, so that's so I'm, take just, you, take I'm you. just playing the orange take section by double clicking take the orange section. Take Okay, 
so a small trick um, at the end you need to make sure to add a little more than you need take your hand my dear. so you need to add a little more than you need on the green section and then just reduce the final one so you, you otherwise if you don't if you leave it like this so so you just uh, if you have it all the way to the end and the final mouth position won't go back to the Take place. Your hand, mouth my position. And bless. So I'll show you what I mean. So if I just go, so you can see it finishes off at this teeth position, which is not correct. You need to, so if you're doing this, you need to have this. You need to um, have a little empty space, so you can see it finishes off at a uh, closed mouth position, right? So, but I will just have it. Probably here. Okay, that's fine with me. So. Take your hand, my dear, and bless them both in my. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's okay for me. So just make sure you've adjusted the green positions first before you try to adjust any of the yellow, uh, orange positions. Otherwise, you'll have to readjust all the orange positions. Because you see, if I adjust this orange position, position, and I, I change this green position, it will now change that orange position again. So. They say, oh my god, I see the way you shine. Okay, cool. So now I will, I will do the individual words. There's, there's, so if you just double click this, can, you can hear that I uh, that there's the beginning of that S. There's, 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 so I'm double clicking. There's, So I can hear the start of the O, so that's why I know that this is going too far. Yep, so I'm just uh, clicking and dragging to adjust the timings. So you can, I'm just double clicking on this one and you can hear that it's very clean. It's just my, instead it doesn't have a G. Wait a second, did I just... I forgot. Uh, I made a mistake. So this, it's, they say, oh my God, I see the way you shine. Okay, so as you can see, I'll have to adjust the timings all over again, and there's no control Z or anything. So. They say, oh my God, I see the way you shine. Take your hand, my dear, and bless them both in my. Okay, so I'll adjust it all over again. Uh, let's do it. Okay. They say, oh my God, I see the way you shine. Take your, take your hand, take your, take your, take your, take your, take your hand, my dear, and take your hand, my dear, and bless them both in my. Take your hand, they say, oh my God, they say, oh my, they say, they say, they say, they say, they say oh my God, I see, the, they say, oh my God, I see the way you shine. Take your hand, my dear, and bless them both in my. Take your hand. Okay, okay, so. Take your hand, my dear, and bless them both in my. Okay, so that was a little bit annoying, but it's less annoying than, than, I've, than I've adjusted the whole audio and then I realize I've typed a word wrong. Okay. So I will adjust again. Okay, so I'm 
interesting. So I can hear this S sending you S. So I'm just uh, so I can start to hear the W there. So I can hear the U in that way. Okay, that's good. Okay, so yeah, so I'm looking for that the start of the the your the Y. And that's very clean. I can hear the start of the H in this your, so I'm gonna move it back. I'm gonna move it back. I can start here the D. So I can hear the place in the S. So obviously, I need to move. Make sure not to drag the green, always drag just the orange, otherwise you'll have to rearrange everything and you'll be sad. And there's no control Z in this, uh, as I've said before. Okay, so the end, as you can see, the end the mouth position is closed. Make sure the end, the mouth position is closed by leaving an empty space at the very end in the green. Okay, so I'm just going to play this through once and I'm going to check the mouth, the top right hand corner with the mouth just to see it looks correct. They say, oh my god, I see the way you shine. Take your hand, my dear. Let you, wait. I was just lengthening that you because it looked a little bit weird. They say, oh my god, I see the way you shine. Take your hand, my D, and bless them both. One second, that you still looks weird. I'm, I'm gonna fine tune it. They say, oh my god, I see the way you shine. That you seems, seems a little bit short. I don't know what it is. It just feels weird. They say, oh my god, I see the way you shine. Okay, that's that's a little bit better. Um, Take your hand, my D, and bless them both in mine. Okay, I'm gonna play it over just once over. They say, oh my God, I see the way you shine. Take your hand, my D, and bless them both in mine. Okay, so that looks fine. Okay, uh, now all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, ex so it's gonna say Anime Studio here. Just press export, and then just call it, um, I'm going to save it under, under, uh, where is it? 
I want to save it under, where is it, Kate, where's my tutorial? <laughs> Why can't I find my tutorial? Uh, okay, here it is, yep. So I want to call it Kate Lip Sync. Okay, so from here on out, uh, we are very, very close to the end. So all we need to do here is well, I'm just going to press A. Oh, I'm going to select the driver armature and I'm just going to go to pose mode and I'm just going to press A, Alt G, Alt R, Alt S. Okay, I want to save this. Okay, so all you need to do here is to import that file. So I'm going to close these other files here. Oh God, I want to close these other windows here. Okay, and now I'm just going to delete this empty because I don't really need it for reference anymore. I'm going to save the file. I'm going to press N to open the tools menu. I want to press animation. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to open this up a little bit. So I'm going to import the file. I'm going to import the file. I'm going to go uh, find uh, the lip sync tutorial. I'm going to find that Kate lip sync dot dat that we just exported. And what I'm going to do is you need to select this driver armature and you want to go to pose mode and you want to just uh, click on plot keys to timeline. Yep, so that should be done actually. So I'm just going to open a window just to see if we can see. Yeah, so we can see that we play it now and we can see that the the lips are moving and that's the magic. That's magic. Okay, but um, what I need to do here is I also need to open a audio window. So this is the final step. You just need to import the audio just to make sure that the audio is working. So I'm just gonna change this to a video sequencer. I wanna press add uh, sound and I'm gonna add the sound here. Let me go see, find it. I wanna go to Kate. Lip sync tutorial, dance monkey trim. Uh, whoops, I put it to here. I should not have put it here. Um, let me go to the start, actually. Um, I'll bring it to zero one. I'll press add. And I'll put in sound, dance monkey trim. Okay, and I'll also press view. And I'll go. Um, View show waveforms, waveforms on. Also, another thing that you need to do is uh, in your timeline, so just get a timeline here and in playback, just make sure uh, audio, uh, AV sync is on. So make sure you go here, AV sync, and that should be fine. Okay, and that should be it. Uh, so if we just change this back to a a, a, a dope sheet and we click on this armature again. We select the armature. Come on, can you just select the armature? Okay, so I go back to object mode Wait, and I go to pose mode. I press A. Okay, I press A and then <laughs> you can see all the, uh, the, the bones here. So yeah, so that, that's fine. I'm just gonna scroll in a little bit. I'm gonna press shift uh, how do I, okay, so I'm just going to zoom in this way and now I'm just going to play it and hopefully it works um, for the first time we're seeing it. Uh, let's, let's go to an, I'm going to make a new layout tab just to see if it's working. Okay, I'm going to go to material preview and then I'm just going to try it out. They say, oh my God, I see the way you shine. Yep, so as we can see, it works. They say, oh my God, I see the way you shine. Take your hand, my dear, and bless them both in mine. Yep, it's a little bit janky, but that's probably due to my poses not being 100% great. Um, and also, you can do some small adjustments yourself because th these are just keyframes. And you can go in and go uh, change some things. But 
Anyway, we're just going to consider this one done, but I will also show you one more thing, which is um, adding animations to this. So now I'm just going to press, go, go to the uh, skeleton layer. I'm going to hold the shift key so that we can see both the whole skeleton. And now I'm going to go to item because now you can, uh, so this is one dead by daylight step um, just for dead by daylight models, but you can also add animation on top of the normal skeleton, which is what, what makes this method uh, really good. So I'm just going to import um, an animation here that I have exported. Uh, hopefully, hopefully I've done this. Yes, yeah, so animation. And I'm just going to import her sit on log animation. So as we can see now, if we just go to this and we just hide this skeleton so it doesn't get in the way. Uh, Kate is now singing while... Um, they say, oh my God, I see the way you shine. Yep, so she's singing your hand, my dear, while she's in, my... in another animation. They say, oh my God, I see the way you shine. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the Discord. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So <laughs> thank you so much for being here. Uh, you are my lifeblood. Um, Animania out.